Hello everyone, and welcome to another Omniverse introductory tutorial. In this lesson, I am going to go over exactly what live mode is, and give a brief demo on how to connect to a session and work live by yourself or with a colleague on your network. Okay, so let's begin by getting some understanding of what live mode really is. At its core, live mode is a fully interactive collaborative technology built into Omniverse and leveraged by apps and connectors found throughout the Omniverse platform. Any USD file can have a live session, provided it lives on a Nucleus server and is accessible from your network. Upon joining a live session, users can make real-time edits to USD stages across apps on a single computer, an office, or even across the world. Once a live session is joined, session edits are non-destructive by using the USD session layer. As changes are made, all users in the session can then see the changes occurring and can collaboratively work in a seamless, non-destructive fashion. As you can see, Omniverse Live Mode is a wonderful tool for collaborating with other users, but it is also very useful to the single user that collaborates with several applications. By simply connecting your apps to a single session, you can leverage new workflow possibilities and have Omniverse sitting in the middle as your central hub, allowing you to see the contributions of your various apps in real time to the Omniverse viewport. Okay, so now that we understand a bit more about what Omniverse Live is and can do, let's see just how easy it is to get started using this common, fundamental technology in Omniverse. If you are following along, I am going to start here in Omniverse Create, and I'll add Maya into the mix. However, most Omniverse apps and connectors will act similarly. One thing you will need for live mode, however, is a Nucleus server to connect to, or a Nucleus localhost. You can install Nucleus localhost from the launcher. If you don't have access to a network-hosted Nucleus, then installing localhost would be needed for this feature. Okay, now that the caveats are out of the way, let's host a live session. First, Let's locate a file hosted on a Nucleus server and get it open. Now, once you have the USD file open, just click the lightning bolt up here on the top right of your interface. Upon clicking, you will be presented with a window allowing you to either host or join a session. As we haven't any sessions open yet, let's go ahead and create a new one. I will call mine PK Session. Feel free to name yours whatever you like. Once you have decided on a session name, hit Create to start a new session. That's all it takes to host a USD Live session. Pretty easy, no? Now, before we connect up to this session with other tools, let's take a look at what all happened when we hosted. To do this, let's just take a quick look at the Layers panel. Here, if we tab open the session layer, we can see that new authoring layers were added. These layers allow us to work non-destructively while in live mode. All our changes, alternatively known as deltas, are stored here on the live layer, leaving our original root layer untouched. In this manner, we achieve a non-destructive workflow. In practice, you won't need to touch any of this. It's all automatic, but understanding this is helpful in knowing what all is happening. Okay. With that understood, let's now go ahead and connect with another tool. For this, I will use Maya and the Maya Connector plugin available in the launcher. Once opened, let's go ahead and connect to our Nucleus server. Perfect. We are now connected to the same server as the file and the session we want to collaborate on. Okay, let's open that file and join a session. To do this, simply select Open USD. Navigate to the file and get it open. Once open, click the Live button. At this point, you will see the same options as we saw where we can choose to either create or join a session. This time, however, we will select to join a session, and we will join PK Session, which we created just a moment ago. Great! We are now hooked into the live session. Maya and Create are now synced. If we make changes in Maya, we will see the changes in Create. If we make changes in Create, we will see them in Maya. Excellent. We have successfully started collaborating between Maya and Create. Let's now bring our attention here towards the bottom of the interface. 
Notifications show that two new users have joined my session, Roman and Ken. If you happen to miss this notification, no worries. We can always see who has joined the session by looking up here in the top bar and rolling over their names. It tells you the person who connected and the app being used. This can also be done in Maya by opening up the connections list. This is an easy way to know who all is collaborating in your session. When connected users are done working, they can close their connections and optionally create a checkpoint. Now, if we want to make changes in the session part of the main file, the host can choose to end the session at any time and merge. This will give you the option to merge the session changes into the root or another layer. Either way, non-session users will now be able to see the changes made. Okay, this is going to conclude our brief introduction to Omniverse Live. This tutorial was just a brief, high-level walkthrough. Be sure to check for more in-depth tutorials leveraging the live workflows in the future. For now, however, you should have enough to begin your first explorations into live collaborative workflows. And with that, I will say thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in future tutorials, and bye-bye for now.